When talking about relative dating, one of the most important concepts is cross-cutting relationships, which basically says something that cuts something else is younger. So in this case, this blue line right here is cutting these other three layers, so the blue intrusion is younger. Let's take a look at a fictitious landscape consisting of rocks A, B, and C. In this case, A would be the oldest, C would be the youngest, because C is on top and A is on bottom. Now let's go ahead and cut A, B, and C with a little bit of erosion. So you'll notice that this erosion line up here cuts layer C. So the erosion is younger than layer C. And layer C being cut is older. Now, what happens if an igneous intrusion comes in? The igneous intrusion I is cutting A, B, and C. You'll notice it is cutting off these lines. Because of that, intrusion I is younger and A, B, and C are older. The things being cut are older and the thing doing the cutting is younger. Now what would happen if a fault came in and cut all of those? Notice that the fault is cutting the other layers, so the fault is the youngest thing. And then I is second youngest, third youngest is the erosion layer, and then layers C, B, and A being the oldest. That is the cross-cutting relationship. The youngest things will be doing the cutting. The oldest things will be the things that are cut. Now, here is a practice problem you can try out on your own. Try ranking these from oldest to youngest. The letters are layers A, B, and C, intrusion I, and fault F. Go ahead and take a moment and try it out on your own now. Were you able to get it? You may have noticed that fault F does not cut intrusion I. In fact, the opposite happens. Intrusion I is cutting fault F. If I was being cut by F, these two layers would have been offset like this. Perhaps that'll help. That was cross-heading relationships.